Hey everyone, I'm Johnny, and here are five Russian tank movies for your consideration in order of release date. White Tiger 2012. It's highly recommended if you want a movie that goes beyond tank tactics and war history. This movie speaks more to the legends and powerful myths that come into play during protracted war. In this case, the myth surrounds a Tiger I, the Soviets call the White Tiger, which appears time and time again to destroy countless Soviet armor before mysteriously disappearing. Though the tank scenes are often more surreal than tactical, you will enjoy the various Soviet armor including ISU-152s, T-34s, and SU-100 tank destroyers. Unfortunately, the German armor are all mock-ups. Panflov's 28 Men, 2016. Though you won't get to see any Russian armor in this movie, the movie centers around a group of men holding off elements of the 11th Panzer Division for several days. You'll get to see Panzer III's, Panzer IV's that appear on the screen as 1 16th models, except for one single full-scale model of a Panzer IV, specially built for the movie. You'll get to see Soviet anti-tank 45mm guns, Molotov cocktails, and my personal favorite, the track-busting PTRD anti-tank rifle. Tankers 2018. This film takes place during the Second Battle of Rostov in July of 1942, and is based on the real story of a Soviet KV-1 tank crew that destroyed 16 tanks, two armored vehicles, and eight other supported vehicles. You'll find in this movie some funky Panzer IVs who execute some odd tactics, but overall this is a great movie. You'll enjoy seeing a real KV-1 and T-34 variants throughout. Look out for a T-34-76, the T-34-76 M43, and a T-3485. The M43 and the T-3485 are both too early for the 1942 period of the film, but this is forgivable and just enjoy watching them in action. Thanks for Stall in 2018. Overall, I have a hard time recommending this film. But it's still worth watching if you are a diehard tank action fan. Just go into it not expecting anything too serious. The real story is terrific, which is based on the original T-34 not having a train carriage available to transport it. So it had to be driven to Moscow to get Stalin's approval until ultimately making a significant impact on the war. Expect kind of an odd diesel punk vibe with this one. Heck yeah, T-34, 2019, probably my favorite movie out of the group for sheer fun special effects. It's a Russian tank movie, so you'll get over the top slow motion and some scenes that clearly choose style over tactics. But you will see several real T-34s in this film, a Panther mock-up made from a T-55, and some CGI and mock-up Panzer IVs. Overall, I highly recommend this film. Thanks for watching this short review on these five Russian tank movies. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.